All right, so we're here today with the the mighty ICOM IC7300. And I gotta admit, I've really been enjoying this radio. It's, uh, I can see how people say that they're either in the ASU camp or the ICOM camp. And I think it really boils down to uh, probably a lot of, a lot to do with user interface. And they definitely both have completely different user interfaces. And I really do like the ICOM. It is a pretty neat user interface. And there's some things about it that I like using more than the uh than say the yesu ft710 up there or the uh or the ftdx10 uh it's a it's a pretty neat un uh, user interface and i've been enjoying using it uh, right now and I haven't gotten tired of it yet so it's still here in the bench uh today though we're going to look at receiver sensitivity and see if it'll actually do what the operator's manual here says that it will do and i'm only going to look at sideband i really don't care about am or fm i'm just going to look at how i'm normally going to use this radio and i think how a lot of people will use it and that's going to be on you know upper or lower sideband so we'll look at one band we'll look at 20 meter here upper sideband then we'll go to 40 meter lower sideband we'll see if there's really any difference and we're going to use this uh, HP 8647A here. And this RF signal generator has a G GPS discipline os oscillator input to the back of it. And she is dead balls on frequency. And we have just a coax hooked directly to the back of the ICOM right now. And we're hooked up to the uh, 47A, 8647A. And then we have our speaker output hooked to our sign adder here. And I'll turn this up here. You see the static. So we're going to start with 20 meter here. And I just picked 14.2750 uh, megahertz. Uh, no rhyme or reason. It's just there in the 20 meter band. So we'll, we'll, we'll test there. So um, the operator's manual for the 7300 says that it'll do 10 dB a sign add at minus 123 dB with the filter set to soft so we'll start with that so you can see we're set to soft here for our filter and let me put that back to scope and uh we are on let's see we'll go preamp off and noise reduction off and we'll start like that so we are just no preamp no noise reduction and we're going to start at Let's see, let's go to, let's go to our test frequency there, and then we'll set it at one microvolt to start. There we are, one microvolt, and then let's get on frequency here. So let's go, oh. All right, so there we are. Upper side band, one microvolt, minus 107 dB, and we are sitting at 16 dB of Synad, no preamp, no noise reduction, and we are and we are going to now, let's go to, let's just jump straight to 123 dB, how about that? So we'll go straight to 123 dB, which is the equivalent of 0.158 microvolts. And she is, oh, I'm, okay, so the, so the operator's manual says preamp one, and we should get 10 dB of Synad. So let's go to preamp one. There's preamp one, and there she is at 12 dB of Synad at minus 123 dB. So she's beating the book operators, uh, the operation spec in the book by 2 dB of Synad. So now let's see if we can better that. Let's go first with, well, I'll tell you what, let's just see where we get down to 10 dB of Synad. Let's go to minus 125 dB. And she's at about 11 dB of Synad there. All right, let's go to say minus 128 dB. And okay, there she's at 8 dB. All right, so let's go back to say minus 127 dB. And she's just about 910. All right, so let's throw on amp two. 
and see what happens. So there's amp two and she was able to do just 10 dB there at minus 127. All right, now let's throw in noise reduction. Now I have my noise reduction set at seven. Now look at the difference there, holy cow. So we are now up at 18 dB. Now let me show you what my noise reduction setting is. So seven, let's turn that down. Oh yeah, look at that, it makes a huge difference. There's one, so this is totally different than the Yaesu right off the gate, uh, right out of the gate. If, if you watched my, pr my prior video on the FTDX uh, 10 and its sensitivity um, versus the FT710, you'll know that um, the noise reduction filtering made did not make that kind of dramatic difference at all on our receive sensitivity. So we're at one right now, and we're at 12 dB of Synad. We're on amp two, and we are at minus 127 dB. Now let's go, I can't believe that. All right, so now we're gonna go up. Just watch that, that sign adder up there. Look at that, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like it's about six, seven, Yep, so about seven is where it, it caps out at, but that's a pretty pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop that off there so you don't see anymore. All right, so we're at 18 dB, amp two, noise reduction at seven. So now we're just playing around now. I mean we we know that it'll meet what the books the operator's manual said it'll do. Minus 123 dB, amp one, uh, on side band. Uh, filtering set to soft. So we know it'll definitely do that. But now we're just seeing what, what the, the most we can get out of it. So right now this is already pretty impressive. And I like the way the noise reduction works on this as far as our receiver sensitivity. That's a lot different than Yesu. Not to say that the Yesu can't receive because it's a receive monster, but it doesn't, it doesn't work like that with noise reduction. All right, now let's go over here and let's set our amplitude down, say to minus 132. How about that? All right, so there's 132, minus 132 on dB, and we're about 12, 13 dB of Synad still. All right, let's go to, how about minus 134? There's 134, 10 dB of Synad at minus 134. So, again, if you watched my video on the FTDX10, FT710 receiver sensitivity, I think the FT710 was able to go all the way down to minus 136 and still maintain uh, 10 dB of Synad, if I remember right. I'd have to go back and rewatch the video. But still, that is pretty, pretty damn impressive. So again, we're looking at amp 2, noise reduction set at 7, and she's able to do 10 dB of Synad. So pretty, pretty dang good. All right, so let's take that all that back off and let's go back to amp is preamp is off you see how it just dropped way off let's go noise reduction off look at that it's gone that signal is gone all right uh, we'll go back to say one microvolt all right so there's our one microvolt again and you see how she's back up there at 16 db of sin where we started all right so let's go to um let's go to the 40 meter band and what is that 7025 what did I have it there 99 all right 7025 lower side band all right I think I can do that over here 7.205 megahertz all right so there we are lower side band All right, so we're holding on the 40 meter band here. We're doing 10 dB of Synad at uh, 7.205 megahertz, and we have no preamp on. So let's go back to what the book says. Book says preamp one. There's our preamp one. And let's go over here to minus 123 dB. Oh. 
All right, here we go. Minus 123 dB preamp one. And she is definitely not holding that 10 dB of Synad there on 40 meters. Not at all. And she is definitely tuned in there to lower sideband. And let me make sure I'm, I've got this set up right. What did we miss anything? There's preamp two, look at that. So she'll just make the 10 dB of Synad with preamp two on 40 meter, not, not, uh, not amp one. There's amp, uh, preamps are off at minus 123 dB. Preamp one, she's just about, what is that, about seven dB of Synad. So she needs preamp two just to get the 10 dB of Synad on 40 meters. All right, so let's throw in the uh, noise reduction again at seven. Oh, there she jumps right up there. So now she's still at 123 dB, minus 123 dB. And she is at now 18 to 19 dB of Synad. Now she is on, what did I say, preamp? There's preamp uh, off, back down to five, almost nothing. Preamp one, she's at about 15, 16 dB of Synad. Preamp two, she's at 18 with noise reduction set to seven. So still pretty pretty dang good. It's not meeting that, that operator spec there at, with preamp one, but she can still get it with a little help from amp two and noise reduction. All right, let's see what we can push it down to that same, what we do, 132 or 133? I can't even remember now. So we'll go to minus 132 dB to start. All right, so she's doing 10 dB right there. 10 dB of Synad at minus 132. So uh, let's see if uh, adding, I doubt it, but let's see if adding a little bit more noise reduction helps. Let's go down first. Definitely drops off without it. No, not really. Seven is where it really kind of caps out at there. So she'll do on 40 meter, minus 132 dB. Um, so still, I mean, nothing to snooze at. So what is that in microvolts? So 0 0.056 microvolts. So this, this radio can definitely, with the aid of preamp two and noise reduction, get pretty, pretty dang low there in the mud to pick out a signal. And 10 dB of Synad, I would say that's right there at the border of an intelligible signal. That's what we check. Uh, that's why we check uh, receiver sensitivity using a Synad measurement is to be able to uh, distinguish where that cutoff point will be on a receiver, where you'll have an intelligible signal versus where you won't. And 10 or 12 dB of Synad, depending on the manufacturer, is where they consider that cutoff of the lowest intelligible signal you're going to be able to pick up. Uh, I shouldn't say that you'll be able to pick up. You'll be able to hear low signals, but whether or not you'll be, to, you'll be able to understand what's being said, this is what the Synad test is going to tell us. If we can get 10 or 12 dB of Synad, depending on the manufacturer's spec, that is the lowest intelligible signal we're going to be able to pick out. So that's it, folks. Uh, we'll turn this down. I would say if I had to come down on whether there was a receiver sensitive, sensitivity king between the Yaesu FT710, the FTDX10, and the ICOM, I would say it's the FT710. It can, it can beat the IC7300 here, and it can beat the FTDX10 barely. Now, we're not making apples to apples comparisons for sure. These are three different receivers, so I'm not, I'm not discounting that. And they, vary, they are very close in performance, but of the three, the FT710, I think, is, is the clear winner as far as sensitivity, uh, looking at it with a, uh, a uh, Synad test. Uh, but this 7300 is no slouch. 
by any means. It is no slouch. And I really like the radio, and that's why it's still right here in this position in the bench and why I haven't um, moved one of the other Yesus back in here yet. I've been enjoying so much using it. So I just thought I'd show that and uh, let everybody see. You know, you see a lot of videos on YouTube where, you know, different, uh, you know, ham guys are showing you the best receive uh, settings and all this stuff and best transmit settings. But, you know, they're not actually showing you any anything on a uh, any instrumentation at all. They're not really showing you any of that stuff. It's really, in my opinion, just a guess on their part as far as how it performs. Uh, that's really what it is. Um, so if you watched my previous videos on the FT uh, DX10 and also this ICOM 7300, I've shown you how these perform as far as uh, intermodulation distortion in the third order, which to me, to see it on a spectrum analyzer and oscilloscope is what is going to be more important than just, you know, randomly picking settings in there and saying these are the quote-unquote best. I'd rather see exactly what it's doing with those settings. So if you really want to see uh, how to achieve low third-order intermodulation distortion with either this radio here or the uh, FT710 or FTDX10, then watch my previous videos because that's where you can see real world what those settings are doing, not just, you know, taking a random guess and posting a, 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 a video about it. Not to, to disparage those guys because, you know, there, there's a lot of knowledge to be gained by all these different people uh, on on YouTube. You know, you can learn something from everybody. That's I guess that's my my uh, my philosophy in life. You know, you, nobody knows it all. You know, I do. I've been doing avionics for 30 years as a career, over 30 years now, and I have yet to run into a single technician that quote unquote knows it all because none of us do that's for sure i mean you you'll have people that will get good at specific things and you know those are the guys you call when you're running into one an issue that they might have a lot of experience in you know for me um i know some guys that are fantastic with uh, autopilot systems I'm, I'm all right with them but if uh specifically what i'm talking about is like say if i'm working on a honeywell autopilot there's a there's a, a gentleman that I'll, I will call up because I know he's got a, a crap ton of experience with them and fixing them. And I'll, I'll say, hey, man, this is what I got going on. What do you think? And, you know, he'll he'll definitely enlighten me and take me in directions that I wouldn't have immediately gone myself. So um, I guess just the point being is that, you know, none of us are, are experts at absolutely everything. So, you know, you take everything that you see on YouTube with a grain of salt. I'm just showing you something different, I hope, than what... You see a lot of these other uh, YouTube channels are doing. Uh, this is uh, more real world stuff here. What, you know, you're getting, getting to see exactly what these things can do on on test equipment, not just looking at settings. So, um, yeah, super impressive radio for sure. I'm really liking it. Um, I dare I say. I'm liking this interface better than the Yesus. Um but I think if you were looking at a clear cut winner for receive sensitivity, it's that FT710 sitting up there. Uh, but again, no slouch at all. This is a fantastic receiver. Uh, it is not a slouch by any means. So uh, 73s and we'll see you next time.